Okay. Uh, now, I want to speak about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I'm sure many people have heard about the four horsemen. And uh, you really wonder, who are these guys and uh, what do they represent? Okay, Because this is a, a something which is so much uh, a, a talked about, especially in the book of Revelation as we, as we start up. Eh? That is in uh, Revelation from uh, chapter 6 from verse 1. And uh, this one... Is quite controversial because people are looking and they're asking, what, what are these four horsemen? And uh, when will they show up? And I want to tell you and uh, show you uh, just a few examples of uh, probably my two cents. Eh? And also according to what the Bible says. Because the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. Uh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. And we need to open up our eyes. So, um, I'm not dogmatic about if it's, uh, if it's what I'm going to tell you or not. That is uh, from the general world research. But, uh, of course, I believe everything which is written in the, in the Bible, it will happen. Okay? So, now, first of all, let's go to uh, uh, Revelation 6 from verse 1. And we check on the first seal. That is a rider on the white horse. Okay, the first horse is the white horse. The Bible says, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see, come and see. I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, now mark these words, had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer now first we have to ask ourselves this this guy who was holding a, you know the first uh, horseman he has a bow and he has a crown and he's going conquering and to conquer it means he's conquering some some things you know it's like uh, taking over slowly and slowly slowly and slowly things like that now who is it? Do you think Jesus is uh, conquering and to conquer or is he already the conqueror? So this one is the rise of the Antichrist. Now this first horseman, the white horseman, why is he white? Because he's pretending to come in a, a, a good way. He's coming, pretending to come the way, you know, Jesus came in a good way with good intentions, motives. That's why he's on a white horse. But remember, the true Jesus, when he'll come, he'll have a white horse and blood on him, on his, uh, I think it will be blood on his robes, meaning that he'll be the sheep slain from the foundations of the world. That time, the, I mean, who was slain for our sins. But this, this white rider, he doesn't have uh, blood and is also conquering. Jesus does not come to conquer slowly. He is already the king of kings. He has already conquered. He has already won the battle. Now, let me tell you something concerning my thoughts. And that's why I said uh, probably it may be my thoughts. You, you know, take this with a pinch of salt. Now, look at uh, what is being said here. That uh, Let's see back again. That he had a bow, okay, and a crown. Now, let's see. Crown. What does the word crown mean? What does the word crown mean? And uh, I was just mind blown by checking this word crown. Crown in the in Spanish, it shows something that you will not even imagine. Let me show you. Crown in Spanish is this word here. And uh, I don't know how to speak because I don't want to be, you know, to be in trouble with, uh, you know, with uh, uh, these fact checkers. But look at this. A crown is this in Spanish. Does it make some sense that he's coming and he has a crown? A crown was given to him. He went forth conquering with that crown. He's like, he's, he's a and how and what else does he have? He has a bow. He has a crown and he has a bow. Now, there's something else I was checking here about a bow. So means he's throwing something, he's shooting something. Are you seeing this? Just see one of the examples I saw here. A doctor shooting a blah 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 like an archer, you know? He's shooting something with a bow. 
Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you that something is being shot right now in the world? Are you seeing this? And are you seeing this one seems to be the rise of the the Antichrist? He has a crown and he has a bow. He's shooting some things. Okay. Take it with a pinch of salt. I don't want to be told, uh, you know, conspiracist or whatever. But uh, take it with a pinch of salt. Probably, probably the bow we are seeing is shooting something. And a crown. Okay. Let's go to the second horseman. The second horseman of the apocalypse is, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, red. And power was given unto him that sat thereon, sat on that horse, to take peace from the earth. And that, he should, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Now, this red horseman, rider of the horseman, is coming with war. He's coming with war. A great sword was given to him. He's coming with war. He wants to, there's something that he wants to do to the world. To take away peace from the world. There's some war. Now, let's see what is happening in the world lately. Are you seeing the stories of Russia versus Ukraine? And you know Russia is, uh, you know, is <laughs> it, 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 they they don't want de defeat. Eh? There's no way Putin is going to look down and say he's defeated on anything. And if uh, Russia starts fighting uh, Ukraine, Ukraine will get some support. Probably I don't know if I may say the U.S. might come to support Ukraine. Now that will be a war between Russia and Ukraine. So you can definitely know no one else will be backing off. We're also seeing another story about uh, uh, Syria. F forget about Syria. Let me come first to Taiwan. Have you heard about the Taiwan versus China? China versus Taiwan. And remember, both of them, they are their allies. And they are now, you know, they are folding shirts for war. And have you heard about the other war between Israel, which is being talked about, Israel versus Iran? Israel versus Iran. This, they're saying that, man, it's going to be, eh? the feasts are already set. You know, these people, they want to war. It's, it's, really, it's really bad. Are you seeing the drums of the World War III? Are you seeing that the Red Horseman is about to rise within no time? And are you seeing the White Horseman is already starting to rise. Okay. Okay. Take it with a pinch of salt. Now, there's another one here. The third seal. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, lo, a black horse. Now, this one is a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Now, what are these balances for? I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hast not the oil and the wine. So this means there'll be a lot of hunger. A measure of wheat for a penny? Wheat for a penny? And three measures of barley for a penny? Now this is, guys, this is, this is hunger. This is famine, hunger. He love a pair of balances, you know. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That these horsemen are about to be opened and why we need to get saved, man? You need to get saved and just uh, uh, be ready. Because when this will be opened, it means this is the effects of the war. When there is war, people do not go to work. They don't do anything. And it means uh, people are hungry. And they will be so hungry, I think people will even eat their pets. And others will eat one another and things like that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing this one is about to happen? Farming? Farming? You only look at Africa and you say, oh, those guys are poor, you know, farming and all that. It's going to be worldwide. It's not going to be in Africa or Philippines or where people are always thinking, ah, these guys, 
What are they eating is really poor out there. And those who are always doing donations out and uh, you know other people eating their donations, it doesn't really reach to the people who are really poor. They're always eaten by those uh, organizers and things like that. But this one is going to be worldwide. It will be everywhere, even in the US, even in Europe. It will be everywhere. Famine, it's coming. That's the third horseman of the apocalypse. Let's see. The fourth horseman. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked and behold a pale horse. And his name, and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. Now the fourth horseman is coming like, you know, he's just completing the whole story here. There's been war, there's been famine, there's been, uh, you know, the rise of the Antichrist with his bow and the crown, killing people, conquering. But now the fourth horseman is coming to stamp everything now, even to make it much more worse. He will, power was given to him over the fourth part. This is a quarter of the earth will be killed with a sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. I believe the beast of the earth is because most of the time this, uh, most of the time this, this, uh, when this will be happening is that people will be running to hide in caves and in mountains and in forests, and the beast of the earth will be eating them and snakes and things like that. Because they are hiding because of probably the Antichrist who is just rising up and who is conquering. They're also hiding from the wars. They're also rushing to try and look how they can survive because people are eating each other because of famine. And people are hiding themselves in forests and places like that. And animals, wild beasts, they are eating them. It will be so much bad. It will be all this. People will be dying and things like that when these four horsemen of the apocalypse are released. And this is the first part of the tribulation. This, this is just the tribulation. We have not even talked about the great tribulation because great tribulation will be worse. It will be worse. It will be so bad. Have you given your life to Christ because for you to be able to escape all these things, you need to give your life to Christ. You need to believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all about believing how that Christ died for our sins. And he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Why did Jesus die? He died for your sins. He shed his blood, his innocent blood for you. So that if you believe that this blood was shed for me, then you'll not perish. You'll have everlasting life. You will have everlasting life. And all these things will not come upon you. You will go with the rapture. Brothers and sisters, let's be wise. Wake up. Wake up those who are sleeping. Wake up. 